I get asked all the time, should I use Copilot or ChatGPT at work? I've got enterprise licenses and use both frequently. So here are some thoughts to help you decide. First, if your organization uses the Microsoft ecosystem, so you've got Teams and Outlook and SharePoint, Planner, Excel, etc., you might consider using M365 Copilot. You can reason over your work data. So a common use case is, Summarize the last five messages from my boss, or I missed this meeting, can you catch me up in a Teams meeting? That kind of situation. Now, ChatGPT Enterprise has connectors that can be enabled to allow you to reason over your work data. It does take a couple of extra clicks, but it's a great experience. Second, if you often create within Word and Excel and PowerPoint and SharePoint, et cetera, the M365 Copilot side is going to be a better solution for you because it's integrated into those tools. There is no integration with ChatGPT inside of those tools. Now, it's not fantastic in PowerPoint at this point in the end of 2025, but it is getting better. It's great in Word. I love the experience. It's great in SharePoint. It's pretty good in Excel. And especially with some recent updates, you're going to find some really capable experiences with Copilot nested into Excel. So that might be a differentiator for you leaning towards the Copilot side. Third, you've got these agents, Copilot agents, and then the custom GPTs on the chat GPT side. Both are really effective, both are really powerful. I tend to prefer the custom GPT side in ChatGPT. It's a cleaner, easier experience, and I often get better output with those. Fourth is the personalization. On both sides in the settings, you can tell it be blunt and abrasive and to the point and direct and no fluff. That's what I do for both of them. Or you can say be super encouraging and add extra fluff. That's fantastic. So pretty equal on both sides in terms of that personalization. Lastly, maybe most important is comfort and familiarity and how you assess the quality of the output. I personally always use ChatGPT at work unless I'm reasoning over work data, then I do pivot over to the Copilot side. But I've found that the quality of that output is just better on the ChatGPT side. Now, there used to be a huge gap. That gap has shrunk significantly, but I do still notice a preference and I'm just more familiar and comfortable with ChatGPT. So both are fantastic. They overlap a ton, but there are some differentiators there.